impact. Research implications are all about impact. But what are research implications and how do they fit into your research paper? Let's dive in. The phrase research implications refers to the impact of a study. Implications of research can be theoretical or practical. Theoretical, meaning that your work may challenge or support existing theories in your subject area, or affect how people conduct similar research in the future. For example, a new way of conducting a particular experiment. Practical, meaning your work may have real world implications. For instance, psychological research might influence how clinical psychology psychologists work, or your experiment could influence how policymakers think about a particular problem. For this reason, implications are a key part of any research paper. They demonstrate the significance of your work, which gives readers a reason to care about your research. Where do you include implications of research in your research paper? In a standard IMRAD paper, which includes introduction, methodology, results, and discussion, you would typically include the implications of your research in the discussion section. Within the discussion section, you would start by summarizing the key results and giving your interpretations of the data to show how it answers your research question. The next part of the discussion is where you would include the implications of your research. This should build on the results you've summarized and explain the possible effects your work might have for those who read it or those affected by what you're studying. After this, you may need to look at potential limitations of your research, and you would usually finish by giving any recommendations at the end of your discussion section. Keep in mind though, not all academic papers follow this structure. Some have separate discussion and conclusion sections, and in a longer dissertation or thesis, you may have a dedicated section to discuss research implications. Make sure to check your style guide and ask your instructor for any advice to get the clearest guidance on where your research implications fit into your research paper. Implications versus recommendations. Implications and recommendations are two important things to discuss at the end of your research paper, but there's a key difference, so you don't want to get them confused. The difference is that implications refer to the significance of your work, and recommendations refer to specific action that could be taken based on your research. For example, here we have a discussion from a study about sleep quality. The results summarized in the first part suggest that watching TV before bed is bad for sleep, whereas listening to calming music helps people sleep better. In the next part, the author discusses the implications of these results. They start with how they fit with past research, noting that the results support existing theories, but they also look at how the results could have practical benefits for those with sleep problems. The recommendations, by contrast, set out ideas for further research and directly suggest communicating the benefits of these results to people suffering with sleep disorders. As you can see, the difference here is that implications are about the significance of the work, while recommendations are about direct action based on those implications. So what should you discuss for research implications? When planning your discussion section, you can ask a few questions to help guide your writing. First, how do your results fit with your hypothesis? Do they reflect your reasons for conducting the research? If not, how has your perspective changed? Second, how does your study fit with other research? Does it confirm or challenge existing theories? What new information has your study provided? Third, how could your study affect other people? Does it suggest new avenues of investigation? Could it affect how people act in a particular situation or in your field of work? By answering these questions, you should better understand the different things you can cover in your implications of research. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of what research implications are, where they fit into your research paper, and how to write about them. If you have any specific questions, let me know by leaving a comment. And don't forget, check out the resources linked in the video description and subscribe to the channel for more guidance on writing your research. Your writing, proof.